Hypothyroidism is one of the most prevalent disorders among women all around the world. One in every 4,000 newborn babies worldwide has hypothyroidism. And the most appalling fact is that 60% of the people affected by thyroid disorders are unaware of it. To get more in-depth knowledge about hypothyroidism, let's get started with our today's video. What is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism is a disorder marked by the underproduction of hormones by our thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland located in front of our neck and is one of the most vital hormone glands and assists in controlling our body's metabolism, growth and development. The thyroid hormones are T3 or triiodothyronin and T4 or tetraiodothyronin. Any malfunctioning of this gland can wreak havoc in our health and lifestyle. Who is at risk? Individuals at high risk for hypothyroidism include the following. Women over the age of 60, pregnant women, patients with prior history of head and neck irradiation, patients with autoimmune disorders and or type 1 diabetes, patients with positive thyroid peroxidase antibodies, patients with thyroid disorders in their family history. Causes The most common causes behind hypothyroidism are Hashimoto's thyroidus. It is an autoimmune condition and the most common cause of hypothyroidism. This disease attacks your thyroid gland and causes chronic thyroid inflammation. The inflammation can reduce thyroid function. Radiation therapy to the neck area. If you have been diagnosed with cancer of the head or neck, lymphoma or leukemia, you may have undergone radiation therapy. Radiation used for the treatment of these conditions may slow or halt the process of thyroid hormone. Radioactive iodine treatment. If your thyroid gland produces too much thyroid hormone, you have a condition known as hyperthyroidism. Treatment for this condition aims to reduce and normalize thyroid hormone production. Sometimes treatment can cause levels of your thyroid hormones to remain low permanently. This often occurs after treatment with radioactive iodine. Thyroid Surgery If your entire thyroid gland is removed due to thyroid problems, you'll develop hypothyroidism. Using thyroid medication for the rest of your life is the primary treatment. Too little iodine in the diet the thyroid needs iodine to produce thyroid hormone. Your body doesn't make iodine, so you need to get it through your diet. Iodized tablet salt is rich in iodine. Other food sources of iodine include saltwater fish, eggs, dairy products, and seaweed. Iodine deficiency is more prominent in people living in hilly areas. Pregnancy Sometimes inflammation of the thyroid occurs after pregnancy. This is called postpartum thyroiditis. Women with this condition usually have a severe increase in thyroid hormone levels followed by a sharp drop in thyroid hormone production. Most women with postpartum thyroiditis will regain their normal thyroid function. Problems at birth some babies may be born with a thyroid gland that did not develop correctly or does not work properly. This type of hypothyroidism is called congenital hypothyroidism. Symptoms The first signs of any thyroid problems are visible on your skin, hair, and nails. These are thinning eyebrows, coarse and dry hair, massive hair loss, carved nails with swollen fingertips, brittle nails, itchy and dry skin, protruding eyes, flushing on face and palm, rashes and reddish spots, swelling on your neck or goiter, irregular menstruation. 
Diagnosis 1. Medical Evaluation Your doctor will check for some physical symptoms like dry skin, slowed reflexes, swelling, a slower heart rate. During this examination, your doctor can also ask you if you have thyroid disorders in your family history. 2. Blood Tests Doctors tell you to get a blood test done so that they can be sure of their diagnosis. Blood tests are reliable and they give correct information regarding thyroid problems. TSH test. A thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, test measures how much TSH your pituitary gland is creating. T4 test. A thyroxin T4 level test is also helpful in diagnosing hypothyroidism. T4 is one of the hormones directly produced by your thyroid. Used together, T4 and TSH tests help evaluate thyroid function. Besides these, the doctor may also advise you to do a thyroid scan or a thyroid ultrasound. Treatment Hypothyroidism is a lifelong condition. For many people, the medication reduces or elevates symptoms. Other treatments for hypothyroidism are artificial T4 pill. If you have hypothyroidism, your doctor will prescribe a synthetic thyroid hormone T4. You take this pill every day. One of the most common pills is levothyroxine. Animal extracts containing both T3 and T4. Your body is capable of forming T3 from T4. When you have a Levo T pill, you're only getting T4 hormones. But sometimes glandular extracts from pig are used because they contain both T3 and T4. Some tips for living with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a chronic disorder and it can have effects on both your physical and mental well-being. Follow these tips to ensure that you prevent complications that may arise from this disorder. 1. Have a proper diet. Your thyroid needs adequate amount of iodine in order to fully function. A balanced diet of whole grains, beans, Lean proteins and colorful fruits and vegetables should provide enough iodine. 2. Get regular blood tests done. You need to get blood tests done regularly so that you can monitor the thyroxine levels in your blood. Take the reports to your doctor so that he or she can change the dosage of your medicine accordingly. 3. Try to cope up with fatigue. Despite taking medication, you may still experience fatigue from time to time. It's important you get a quality amount of sleep each night, eat a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, and consider the use of stress-relieving exercises to help you minimize the energy loss. 4. Monitor yourself for other diseases. There is a link between autoimmune diseases and hypothyroidism. Lupus, rheumatoid arthritis are some of the diseases that might occur in a patient with hypothyroidism. Even though hypothyroidism is a chronic illness, proper management of your health can minimize the symptoms. A few dietary restrictions and a healthy lifestyle can help you combat this disorder. That's all from us today. We want you to know that your voice is important to us, so please leave a comment below. If you're new here, then click the bell icon for notifications of our new videos. For more content, visit our website www.thevoiceofwomen.com. Till the next time, stay safe and stay healthy and let your voice be heard.